I'm tired of religion, you know? I'm tired of religion, I'm tired of division, you know? I wanna, I wanna know that Jesus who goes to where the broken people are. How many of you guys have heard of Justin Bieber? <laughs> Wave at me if you've heard of him. Okay, good, you had me worried there for a minute. This is his mom. Go ahead. These guys are my grandparents. <laughs> Come on. Um, my spiritual mom and dads, my parents um, from Stratford, we're kind of discipled and raised up by um, John and Carol. And, whew. It's thick up here, yeah. Huh? And I remember giving my life to Jesus in a hospital room after I had recently tried to commit suicide. And whew, six months later, I, um, I was pregnant. Mm. And I, I rededicated, I gave my life back and I said, oh my gosh, I took my life back in my own hands and look what I did. It was 1994, it was January or February, just right after this whole Curry's had um, bust out of the father's love in all kinds of funky ways and awesomeness. Yeah. And um, I remember uh, a whole bunch of leaders praying over me and just filled with the spirit and, and prophesying that I was going to birth revival, <laughs> that I was going to birth revival. I was birthing revival. I was birthing yeah. revival. So I remember he came here, he was 12, and it was right. right before Justin Bieber became Justin Bieber. And he um, was here fresh wind. It was the first year he was here without me. I used to come every year yeah. with all the youth. And I remember he came, he was 12 years old, and they, the 20-somethings picked him up. There was like 5,000 people here. I remember it was a lot. Right. And they picked him up as, as a sign to upholding the next generation and they marched him around the room and they had no they idea who what what god was going to do and now this is a major major problem what you just saw there was john and carol are not who are pastors up in toronto canada and justin's mom right there says that they are the spiritual grandparents of them this is this is nuts i say what no. Now I'm gonna explain to you why that is. But first of all, do you also see how she claimed that, you know, people came and prophesied over her when she was pregnant with Justin? You know, that Justin was gonna be this baby in her womb was gonna be this mighty man of God. And he was gonna lead people in revival and he was gonna change the music industry. <laughs> false prophecy, false prophecy, false prophecy. No. But let's look at John and Carol are not, which is the really the bedrock of a lot of this problem that leads to Justin Bieber. So first of all, you can see that they started and they're good friends with Benny Hinn. Watch this. We went back to Benny's and, and uh, we've known him a long time, but it, there was a reconnect just being with him. But we saw the lame walk, the blind see, the deaf hear, and about a thousand people come to Jesus. And we said, God, we have to have this. Well, he invited us back into the green room after the meeting and as we came through the door, he just kind of lunged at us, you know, and just boom, boom, we're down, both of us on the floor. And, and he's saying to me, pick up your wife. And I'm and like, there's no way. She was just completely, completely gone. And so he says, okay, we'll leave her. Well, she just got so electrified. Just... 